But we, being Christians, being believers in Jesus Christ, we can look at that at a, as a, at a different perspective than what the people of the world see it as. Колись прийшов Ісус, і він нам приніс прекрасну надію. Прекрасну надію, яку ніхто не може дати інші. And when Jesus Christ came, He gave us this hope, this hope that nobody else 
could give or take away from us. And Apostle Peter says, blessed is the hope. Це прекрасна надія, що одного разу ми зможемо знову зустрітися. Колись Йо, який пережив багато горя, багато страждань, він запитав таке питання. At one point, Joe, where he, when he lived through so much uh, trials and, and, and tribulation in his life, and there was this one question that was given to him. He, he, he had this question, if a person dies, will he be resurrected? Щоб Ісус і Христі, ми можемо мати цю надію, що одного разу ми знову, знову це тіло переміниться, і воно буде нове, ми знову проживемо. And with Jesus Christ, we have this hope that one day our, this, this flesh will be renewed, and we, that one day we will be with the Lord. Але ще одне, я хочу звернутися до кожного. До кожного, хто є на цьому місці, і особливо до молоді, знаєте, колись... Колись Еклізіас, він... Він був саме розумніші чоловік на світі. At, at one point, when Ecclesiastes, the, the most wisest man on earth, and when he looked at death, he, he, it was un, under, un, not understandable to him. It was, it was closed for his vision. He couldn't understand it. And he tried to somehow explain it. And yeah, he tried to explain it somehow. І ціла книга Еклізіастова вона з тим питанням старається якось справитися, розв'язати його. І коли на цьому розділі і на 11 чаптері в дев'ятому вірші він звертається до дневника Uh, in the ninth verse, he turns to the, to the young. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer, the, cheer thee in the days of thy youth. And walk with, in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. And at one point John saw this massive crowd of, of people before the judgment throne. And in the 20th chapter of uh, Revelations, 12th verse. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And we, we know that right, uh, these days people put try a lot and they put all their strengths into it. Different things, different things, different 
speeches that are only earthly. Oni starali se zarobit i bohatno roše. They try to earn massive amounts of money. Oni starali se zdobit i kuj slavu. They try to get glory. Oni starali se še steš, ki ono projde čas, ki ono promene. They try to reach something that will pass away. Ale znajte, Сьогодні як християни, нам потрібно шукати того, що не є минуче. Що те, що є вічне? Що те, що принесе нам користь не тільки в цьому житті, а і в майбутньому житті? Bring us good not only in this life but in the future. Через ті двадцять тіла сьогодні до мене і до тебе говорить Господь. Through these two bodies, the Lord is speaking to you and to me today. Зупинися на своєму шляху. He is saying, "Stop on your ways." Зупинися і роздивися. Stop and look around. Чи сьогодні на правильному шляху ти стоїш? Я стою. Are you on the right path today? А якщо завтра тебе чекає така участь? Пам'ятай, що не вічно ти будеш на цій землі. Пам'ятай, що те, що не знають батьки, те, що не знають церква. Але Бог знає все. But God knows everything. And He sees your life today. And today He wants to tell you, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still love you." And He wants to tell you today, "I still And I was looking through through his stuff, and I I saw these words. And when you look on this, on this, on this, on this, oh, I just can't wait till I cross the Jordan and see my Savior's face. Що я не можу дочекатися, поки я перейду цей Іордан і побачу на це мого Спасителя. Об'явлення Івана Святого Письма Івана Богу Слова. In the Revelation of John. Чатри Коніцю. Двадцять кутий розділ. Натисні такі слова. І показав мені, я скажу більше, показав мені чисто віку живої води ясному кришталі, що виплавала з престолу Бога і Анца. Посеред його вулиці, по цей вік і по цей вік, віки такого життя, що родить 12 раз води, кожного місяця приносить вікрі, свій. А листи дерев на здоровому народі, а жадного прокляття більше не буде. І буде в ньому престол Бога і Анца. Роди його будуть служити йому, і побачить лице його, а й мені його, і їх і вчола. І ночі вже більше не буде, і не буде про тебе світ і світлівника, а не світ і сонця. Бо освітлює її Господь Бог, а вони заробитимуть вічні віки. And he showed me a pure river of water and of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, there was a tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded the fruits every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation. And there should be no more curse, but, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads, and there shall be no more night, and there and there and They need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, 
and they sh and they shall reign forever and ever. They saw the face of their Savior. Where is your life today? Do not depart from this place, not, not considering this. This is not just a coincidence that you came here. Today the Lord speaks to you and to me. That we need to check ourselves if we are ready to meet with Him. Not just on words, but with, with action. So we could cross the Jordan and see the face of our Savior. And that we could meet with Him again. But this is, is something that is required of every single one of us. We should think about this. And take it as a as a lesson. That it's not important of your age. But this can happen tomorrow. And how will, you, how will you meet your Savior? May the Lord help every single one of us. Amen.